Hello, in this video I'll demo how to share data between child and parent components. With the at input decorator you can send data from the parent to the child with property binding, and with the at output decorator you can send data from the child to the parent with event binding. And if you haven't read the Angular documentation on this, I highly recommend it. It's very well written, and there's a lot of good information in here that I'll be covering in this video. It's still worth reading though, so I'll put a link in the description. Since this is a very specific Angular tutorial, I'm assuming that you already have Angular on your machine. I'm using Angular 12.1.3, as you can see here. I'm going to create a new Angular project, ng-new, and I'm going to call it Sharing Data Between Components. It's going to be a simple project, so I won't need any routing, and I'll use regular CSS. I'll pause the video while this installs. Everything installed, I'm going to change into the directory that I just created. And then open this up with VS Code. Here's our main app component. And we're going to create one more child component. Before I do that, I'll get this project running with ng open dash dash open ng serve rather dash dash open and I'll pause while this compiles that compiled successfully let's open up the main app template HTML file delete everything in here so it'll be blank and I'm going to create a new component ng generate component beverages. You can call it whatever you want to. Five files were created. We have our CSS file, the HTML template, the testing file, and the components TypeScript file. We also have this module, app module TypeScript file was updated. Our beverages component was imported and declared here. Now into our main app component template, I'm going to create parent class. And the reason for this is I want to show clearly a differentiator between the parent and the child class. So when we transfer data between the classes, you can see which class is which and which component is which. In order to enter the beverages component selector, you look under the at component decorator and you have this app dash beverages. And then if we go into the main app template and enter in app beverages selector there, you can see beverages works. Let's put an H2 for the parent. We'll call this parent component. And then in the beverages template, let's do the same thing. Let's change this, create a child class, put an H2 in here that says child component. And then to make this more visually appealing, I'm going to add some styles, some minimal styles, nothing fancy. I'll add in here. I'll put a border around the component, style the H2, the button, and the input. And then I'll also add some styles to the main app component. Border around the component, style the H2, and the list items that we're going to create. And then in the main CSS file, put some minimal styles in here as well. Changing the font, and my window's so small that this won't even take effect, but I'll leave it in there anyway. So now we can see we have a child component inside the parent component. So now on to transferring data. The way we're going to transfer data is with the at input decorator. That's how you send data from the parent to the child. So in our beverages component file, let's close some of these files. We don't need everything opened. In the beverages component TypeScript file, first thing, we need 
input, so we can use the at input decorator. We can leave this as that input, that'll be fine. And we'll use at input. You need the parentheses because this is a method. And we'll call this beverages equals T. And then if we open the beverages HTML template, and we'll say today's beverage in between strong tags, we'll say beverage. So this, this is, we'll call this beverage. So if we look in beverage right here comes from the property we just created. Save that. Tell the compile. So what's going on here? Beverages that component error occurs in the template. Let's see. I don't see an error. Save. Let's make sure everything is saved. All right. There is our beverage. Today's beverage is tea. Now we want to send data from the parent to the child. And the way we do that is let's open up the parent component, which is app. And let's create a property in here. And we'll call it current beverage. Let's say coffee. Nothing's going to happen yet because we haven't done the property binding yet. And the way we do the property binding is in the main app component here, the parent component. So inside this app beverages selector, which again, we got from right here in the child component selector app beverages. Inside there, we're going to, inside square brackets, we're going to put the beverage property from the child component equals the parent property, which is current beverage. When we save that, current beverage changes the coffee because the source of information for this beverage is now current beverage. And the reason this works is because we use the at input decorator inside the beverages component right here. So that's how you transfer data from a parent to a child. Transferring data from a child to a parent is more involved, and we do that with the at output decorator. So we'll need to import output and also event emitter. Using this at output decorator, we'll create new, create new beverage event is what we'll call it. Equals new event emitter, which is going to emit a string. And we also need a method. We'll call it add new beverage. And the value that this is going to take in, it's going to be a string. This dot new beverage event property we just created using the add output decorator is going to emit that value. Now let's talk about where this value comes from. We need to open up the child component template and we'll create a label for our beverage input. We'll say add a beverage. And then for the input, type text give it an ID equals beverage input. And we'll create a template reference variable here called new beverage. Now this is where we do, we start the process of event binding. We're going to need a click event.
equals add new beverage and the value that we're going to be sending is new beverage dot value add new beverage new beverage dot value and this add new beverage comes from add new beverage this method we created so so far we've have stayed in the child component i'll save everything that we have so far we'll say add for this to work we need to update the parent component first thing we'll do is create a beverages array we'll say milk tea coffee juice four is enough for now and let's create a method called add beverage which takes in a new beverage and then we'll take this dot beverages that array we just created and we'll push in that new beverage next thing we need to do is update the parent template and remember we used property binding to send data from the parent to the child here and now we're going to use event binding new beverage event equals add beverage event with a dollar sign and this event with a dollar sign is going to send the value we'll go right to the angular documentation to show this the event contains the data that the user types into the input in the child template UI we need to add to the parent component now if we want to see that array we'll use an ng4 ng4 equals we'll say let bev of beverages let's save that all right that's blank so let's see what's going on got a beverages array bevo beverages yeah and of course it's not working yet i've got to add in the beverage okay now we have everything set up we're using event binding so now if i put in a new beverage here we'll say bourbon and i add it now we're sending data from the child to the parent with event binding right here new beverage event equals add beverage and this new beverage event this comes from that we're in the child component here beverages and we're using the at output decorator and event emitter so go back into the main app component this is the parent component template new beverage event equals add beverage event with a dollar sign so that's how you transfer data from the parent to a child or a child to a parent component one final thing i want to show you is how to clear this input field but before i do that i want to share this website Toragos language academy i highly recommend this site this company for learning spanish they have native spanish speakers that have many years of teaching experience Learning a, a foreign language is something that I think everybody should do, particularly in the U.S. where it's more likely that we'll only speak one language. There are so many cognitive benefits from learning a second language. Even if it's not Spanish, you should learn a foreign language. And if you do choose Spanish, 
this is the site where you should start. Your first lesson is free. I highly recommend it. Clearing the input field is a little bit different in TypeScript than it is in JavaScript. First, we'll do it the easy way. If we look in our child template here, on this click event, one thing we could do is, as soon as you click the button and you send the data, you could use this new beverage reference variable up here dot value equals a blank string. That would be one way to do it. You can see when I saved and the page refreshed that bourbon went away. And that's because we're not persisting the data on the server. But now when I type that in and hit add, click add, it clears the input. Now that's one way we, we could do it. And another way, if you wanted to, we can go into the parent component here and create a method to do it. Clear input. And this way, you're waiting until you push the data into the array. If this were JavaScript, the easiest way to do it, we could just create a variable. We'll say input equals document dot get element by ID. And then if we said input dot value equals a blank string. Object is possibly null. So what's happening here? Why doesn't this work? Property value does not exist on type HTML element. This is TypeScript, so it has to be very specific. So if we cast this to an HTML input element, then it's going to work. Now if I save it, let's add a beverage. And there it is. Hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you for watching.